Okay, lovely people. I'm going to mess you up now. Um, I've been I've watched the animation by the Coast Guard a couple times now. This is the Coast Guard animation. Uh, I'm going to turn this full screen, but it's going to do that. And we have no choice but to... Wait, I think I can... Hold on. This thing records in another orientation. Let me think about that. Never mind. Hey, stop that growling. Just growling like that. Which one of you acting up, little kitties? All right, let me tell you where I'm going with this. Take note of the time. This is the end of the video. It says it's 33,4600 meters. Um, 33,4600 meters, not 100 meters. Uh, that they lose contact and they give a location. This is 10.47.32 a.m. This is this coincides with the exact time that they this is going to back up 10 seconds. Take note of the time. Uh, please show me the screen. The okay, I'm gonna do this kind of weird, right? Because of the way it's, it's configured. But I want you to look at the time here, it's 10 47 at in this minute, 10 47, and the elevation is going to be down here. I'm going to move this out of the way if I can. Uh, so elevations at the bottom there and there, and that's that. As you can see, the elevation is the same as they report the uh, last signal uh, lost. They don't get any more information data from them. Thirty-three forty-six hundred feet. Shit, meters. All right, let's let play. They 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 last recorded still the same feet and see the same minute. Sorry, let's go back 10 seconds. That's George. Shit. Okay. Uh, 1047, one more time. One more time. They do a lot of animation. Okay. 1046. So now it's 1047. See the time? And the meters, 3346 meters. And the Titan, TTN, quotes, drop two weights, WTS. Um, and then they never heard from again. So now I have to think what would cause a progressive collapse after they said they dropped two weights. Well, the one guy stated the on this board of inquiry that the weights only weighed 35 pounds of steel tubes. Boy, I must be looking at that incorrectly. 35 pounds, those weights, those uh, tubes look like they weigh a lot more, but steel can, you know, be different densities. Um, but that's what he said. Now, I don't know if I believe him or not, but it's 70 pounds, dropping two. What if they dropped more? You know, thinking you're dropping two weights. I need to know how this carriage system works. Can you accidentally drop more than two weights and can they if you were on the side a little bit the vessel just a little bit on remember how they had a rocket before dropping two weights would that have the effect can it have the effect of impacting something critical something critical below the weight the that track that roller decks the other one is the i call it roller decks the other think of it the other one is can the um did they search the Coast Guard and find two weights together at this location? This because uh, they give her a, a north uh, triangulation. Did they find two weights there, or did they find more? Or did they find the undercarriage there? If so, then the undercarriage being the legs and all that, this thing somehow somebody maybe one of the uh, mission specialists, quote unquote. So pug face, you might like that. Um, uh, cause Pug said I should refer, you know, make up a mission specialist for you guys. All right. So Pug mission specialist, what happens if you are assisting as a mission specialist? I tell you to go ahead and drop two weights and you, I don't know how easy it is to do something else. Like, well, I know they didn't, ex I don't know that explain, expand, ex expand the bladder by mistake. Besides, I think that takes time to open the valve up. That's not something you're going to do um, by accident. 
It's got to be something that it's a one-off thing. You can do it and then fuck. You know, you can't undo it. And an implosion, an implosion happens. So dropping two weights. Is it a selector switch? We need to know. Uh, that's what we got to watch now. This in Board of Inquiry, if you guys can find it. Is there a selector switch that says I can drop two weights, turn to two, and it's going to roll out two of them? Or do you feel it, you know, vibration, and you go, that's one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that seems like that would be two there. What's the feedback that they know they only dropped two weights? What's the feedback that they know they dropped any weights? Is it a camera that's down there looking at it? Is the is the camera, you turn the lights on and you watch it roll out one, roll out two? And if you're, so it's a weight. If it, this Rolex, it Rolex or whatever, falls from the bottom, not the top. It doesn't push it out, I don't think. So it rolls off the bottom. Again, if you're, what's in the way what 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 could it be in the what could be in the way there now think this if it's inclined if it's not level inclined in a, a north to south direction not you know like you're going tilt the front of the vessel upwards like you're climbing like an airplane and they drop the weight it, it would get more bound i think unless you get some mechanical system that rolls it out pushes it out it would be more bound because you know it's leaning up so it won't want to roll roll as easy, but there's a lot of weight behind it, but it would. And what if I can get, you'd have to have a hell of an incline, I think, for it to, one of those weights to come back and impact the uh, hydraulics that would drop the legs. I saw, the, I think there's a, a, a hydraulic line for dropping the legs or is, is, ex is exterior on the legs. It runs across the legs, I believe, the, uh, the, 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 the hydraulic line. I have to look deeper into this now because this is where I'm really going now that um, I, I find it. Remember, you, got, you, you can't just because you have a great idea doesn't mean, you know, one of my thinking is you don't stick to it no matter what. You know, just because you spend a lot of time uh, making a mistake, just don't keep sticking to it. So let's just, my critical shear theory and all that, that's, that still stands, but it stands in addition to this now. Now I have a new um, line that I have to go down thinking and, and, and disprove, it, disprove it now. Did, did the weight rolling out, what could it impact? What hydraulic line, what air line could it impact? that could start a progressive failure uh, that could result in the um, implosion. It's just not logical that they roll out weights and at the same time an implosion happens. No, I don't have it. If they would, if minutes would have gone by and that minute, like minutes have gone by. What are you doing there, boy? They, they, uh, they plan around here. Come on, don't don't tear it. When I'm tearing at something, hold on, let me cough. <coughs> let me put you on pause for a second. <coughs> so I want you to think about that. What part of the underside of this vessel, this rolling, this uh, weight system? How can I? I, I you know, I got to work it any way I can. How can I make the weights? impact something that would cause progressive failure if at all this might be just a wild goose chase but i just find it just too wrong not to acknowledge that they just dropped the weights then he no longer heard it heard from so we're gonna uh, you can assume implosion then or you can assume that they're dealing with a with a with an issue but since we know they mechanically did something on the outside by dropping two weights, reportedly dropped two weights, it says, dropped two weights, past tense. That's when the crisis, well, progressively started to happen. Not, not, not immediately, but because he got the message off. And then she couldn't even get back to him re replying back. So I'm leaning towards this, the two weights. What did they, what could they impact that could start a progressive in rush of uh, pressure and ejecting it like a skid, like the video I made. Now it's biased now, where I show the bottle shooting, the pressure coming from the rear, shooting it, sliding it off, 
you know, uh, the back slide, uh, leaving the blasting forward into the differential pressure of the of the uh, the uh, this, this this device. So forget the smoke and mirrors of the of the uh, O-ring. We've got smoke coming from the weight drops. You know, smoke. We have smoke coming from a dovetail. Apparently, dovetail uh, the way they did the the gasket. But the real smoke is that smoke they made up, and they're looking over that direction. And it's a possibility. But the real smoke is they just drop two weights. There's your smoke, you know, for smoking gun. So what do you guys think? Um, now it's going to take some in-depth, more... I don't have the time right now to do this, but I'll try to fit it in to do... Um, to look at the underside of the vessel. Oh, man. This is going to be wild. And I think I wanted to reach out to uh, the Ocean Gate guy. You know how good I am some time with that. So um, I think I might reach out to him um, and see if uh, he'll, he'll communicate with me about about the layout, the, the plumbing. Uh, or maybe they'll they'll post the entire plumbing on this. The plumbing is, you know, the, the airline, the hydraulics, um, the release mechanisms. And I need to see how I can make those two weights the the action of thinking you're even thinking you're dropping two weights be a false action or positive action meaning they really did it or they think they did it and they did something else in exchange um he didn't say he dropped two weights he says dropped two weights what if again what if again one of the mission specialists what if again again what if um one of the mission specialists was taught to do release the weights and can you how easy to release something else in exchange in a stake they i don't think it's easy to drop those legs i don't think those legs are as easy as dropping two weights to disconnect the legs uh, they do disconnect though because in case they get entangled uh, they're able to disconnect the legs i don't know how easy that is oh we have a part number off of that um, device. Thanks. Shout out to somebody on the channel that told me it was a part number, not a patent number. They, they sent me an email. I thought it was a patent number on that device, on the uh, lifting, lifting slash um, release mechanism. How easy is it to drop, uh, to make that disconnect? It would be four legs or would it be two? Um, how easy to make that disconnect? That would get us uh, uh, the thing doing a roll, rolling over. Once you drop those weights, it's a whole nother uh, center of gravity, if you will. This thing's going to roll over, I think. Um, it might even uh, climb or it might dive. So you get two choices on that. I'm inclined to believe it would. it's going to do something, but rolling over for sure because of the way the, the, the foam is at the back of the vessel high. And then you drop the counterweights, which would be the entire, all the weights, and the skid. Um, how easy is it to make that mistake? Now, think of this. You drop two weights, and then the, maybe they start drop more. Or, or drop, drop two more, and they never get the right, the rest, because it's already started. There's something odd going on. And maybe they did go into panic mode at which in next in default mode and say quick up oh, the drop the two weights oh shit this thing's not acting right something's wrong at the weights did an impact or something like that we're losing air pressure or something and then they said quickly drop the uh not the air pressure it would be so fast it would be something i need these two weights to do something i need to see this this track i need to see what it looks like again now we know they had some uh, turnbuckle and strapping on there. I I just wanted to put this put this out there for you guys, and uh, get this get that brain working and see where we can go with this. Take care, love you, bye, and thank you for taking care of the kitties. All of you who donate, Christine. I tried to give a shout out to you the other day, and it cut me short on the one minute video. So Christine, shout out to you today. All right. Thanks. Thank you all. Now, I'm not forgetting anyone that's sending me donations through PayPal. A couple of you do that, and they're not on the private channel, even not on the uh, private room, but you do the PayPal donations. So 
you know, I wish, please, uh, you know, you can out yourself or send me a message to say, hey, yeah, you can give me a shout out and I will. Otherwise, I'm respecting your privacy. Thank you. Love you. Bye.